stereotypes that you will have seen and heard all around you and what you can do about them. You might have heard a few things about you can't do that because you're a girl or you might look around and you don't see anyone like you in the type of roles or positions that you want to do. Well, here's what you need to do. First of all, being a girl does not stop you doing any of those things or being any of those things that you may have heard or seen. Number two, when people say that to you, ask them why they think that. What is it that makes them think that you, as a girl, would not be able to do it? And three, you can do whatever you want to do, so don't listen to them. So, whether you want to be a chef because you love food, a doctor or a vet because you love science and medicine, or even a chocolate taster, it's a real job, who knew? Then you just need to think about what do you love? What do you like doing? And then think about what are the roles that go with that? Love first and then the career and the idea of what you want to do. Sport. You will have been told, I'm sure, or heard, that certain sports are not for girls. It's simply untrue. If you look around, you will find amazing sporting achievements by women's teams and women, especially recently in the Olympics and the tennis. It's amazing. You can do and play whatever sport you would like to. So here's what you can do about it. Number one, if you're not playing sports at school that you would like to, or you're seeing that boys are playing different sports from girls, ask your teachers, your head teacher, why? Why is that? And what do you want to play? And how can they make sure that you get to play it and try those sports out? Number two, find something that you love. Move around, try everything out, whether that's kicking a ball or whether it's catching a ball, find some things that you like and then find the sport that goes with that and then go and find a team there will be one somewhere number three practice taking up space i want you to stretch i want you to really stretch out be big because the more space you take up especially when it comes to sport then the more you will be part of that sport boys do it all the time especially in the playground take up space remember that so if you want to play badminton golf or rugby you just need to find it and try it and tell people you want to give it a go how you look you all have noticed lots of people want to tell you how you should look what you should wear you'll see it across all of the t-shirts with the slogans telling you to smile telling you to be pretty telling you to do all of those things you don't have to do any of those things and here's what you can do about it number one Ask why. Why do they want you to look or dress a certain way? Is it about them, society, or is it about you? Because perhaps if you're climbing a mountain at the top, it's going to be freezing cold, you probably do need a warm coat. Number two, think about how comfortable you are. What is it that you want to wear? What, how do you want to look? And remember, just because you do that one day or one week doesn't mean that that is absolutely how you have to dress and be. You can change that if you want to. And number three, and most importantly, this is about being happy with you. This is about being at your most comfortable and making sure that you are happy with who you are and the way that you look and you dress. So, looking smart with loads of jewellery or casual with your sunglasses or comfortable in your baggy jumpers with your hair up. It's entirely up to you. So you might be thinking, how can you make change? What can I do in this world of all of this? I'll tell you what you can do. Number one, listen. Listen to what's being said around you. Listen to the language people use, how they talk to you and your friends, your female family members. Number two, ask questions. Why? If someone challenges you and says you can't do something because of you're a girl or because of whatever reason, ask them why. Ask them why they use that language with you. Ask them why they talk to you in that way. Ask them why you can't do that certain activity. Why questions are great because it makes people think. Number three, speak to your friends. Speak to your female family members. Ask for their experiences. What are they seeing? What, can, what do they do? And what are they hearing around them? The more you can talk to people, the more you can all understand what's going on. You know what? If you do all those things, we can absolutely make change. Because even if you change the opinion of just one person, make them think a little bit more, 
adult or child, it doesn't matter. You are making a difference. And remember, by asking questions and making change, you will be making a difference for all children of all genders. Because, like we say at Not Only Pink and Blue, we want to grow generations of equals. Thank you so much for watching. And please do share any of your pictures or thoughts around any of this in the video. And certainly you playing the sports, doing what you want to do, and just being the individual that you want to be. Thank you.